Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. Mm. We got Muse, Inspire. We got Free Spirit, Wild. Oh. Now the one that came out on the board is 5D Soul Connection. Okay? And it says Reunion here. Okay? Reunion flipped out but it never touched the board. So I'm going to keep that there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it out. I'm going to put it out. Okay, so there is some type of reunion. Somebody wants to get back close with you. Somebody sees you as, it's like, why does this card want to slide out? <laughs> it just doesn't want to stay. This, um, whoever this is, they see you as an inspiration. They see you as free. They are very connected with you. It's like, how can I say this? They feel like you're very tapped in. You're very tapped into their energy. You're very tapped into your energy. You're just very tapped in. And this is how they see you. They're looking at you and they're very inspired by you. They're very impressed by you. They're very like, they have such good feelings with you. Okay. And they want to be around you. They want to be around that energy again. Okay. Let me see. What else? The hangman. Okay, so this is somebody that did not see all of this previously. They didn't see all of this energy. They were not inspired by you previously. They did not see you as a free spirit. They did not know how connected you were. Okay? But they want to come back because now they see. Now they see. Now, I'm still very neutral about it. I'm very neutral because I just had another reading and it had the reunion, but it was such a beautiful reading. This re Oh, yeah. Okay, see the hangman and then it says the six of, of swords here. I honestly feel like this is somebody that walked away from you. This is somebody that absolutely walked away from you because they did not see your value at first, but now they do. Okay, or maybe they were they were at a standstill and they chose to walk away like they were unsure, but they didn't move forward. They walked away like it was it's a two step process. First, they was unsure. Okay, about your artistry, about who you are, about what you provide. You know what I'm saying? Like what you bring to the table. First, they were very like at a standstill with it. And then they chose to walk away. Okay. Like, they chose to walk away when they realized how free of a spirit you are. It was like you was too free. You were too much of a free spirit. You were too much of a rebel. You were something that I feel like you made them uncomfortable. Like, they weren't, they weren't familiar with this kind of energy. This also, I'm getting also the energy of somebody that had you at a standstill or had you at a pause about something that you do creatively. Like maybe, maybe they had you at a standstill because maybe they didn't know what to do with you or they didn't know where to put you or they didn't know who to team you up with or something along those lines. Okay. You got the page of pentacles here. It's like they moved to a new opportunity. They moved to another opportunity which was lower than if they would have took this opportunity with you, they took a lesser opportunity, okay? And they know this now. Now they are aware of your artistry. Now they are aware how much of a, like, 
you're amused to them like you have the things that they need they get a lot of inspiration from you they see how connected you are they see all of this stuff now after they've moved away from you and now they want to come back like I don't know how many times did I get the reunion in my readings today I must have gotten a reunion at least three times in my reading today and I shuffle my cards I shuffle my cards even before I get on camera and I shuffle my cards on camera and the reunion card just keeps coming out here it's like yeah they took this they took this chance with somebody else okay they took this chance with somebody else and to be honest I really feel like they breadcrumbed them like they went to another opportunity first they okay they weren't sure about the opportunity with you so they went to somebody else that they could play games with basically and they tried to make certain things happen with this person and I don't think that it happened because for the simple fact that this person wants to be reunited with you I don't think that whatever it is that it, they tried to make happen with this other person I don't think they could make it happen I think you was the only one that could make this happen and they know this now and that's why they want to return let me see what this is you got the three of sword okay so already on the board you have three swords okay you got three swords so this is them realizing that they could not make it happen just like i was saying this card just completely how can i say only clarified what i was already saying they realized they could not make this happen they realized that no action could be taken like how it could be taken with you how it could be taken with you what could happen with you it couldn't happen with this 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 younger energy okay it couldn't happen with this energy that's easily controllable it couldn't happen with these energies okay they couldn't make it happen no matter what they did they couldn't make it happen and now they want to come back to you after they left you after they chose to leave you okay this is very burdensome to them that they can't make this happen they feel like they feel defeated okay that's the energy that I'm getting with this three of sword and this ten of wands I'm feeling like they feel completely defeated they feel like they don't have the upper hand in this situation they feel like they absolutely wish they could come back to you okay they absolutely wish they could come back to you let me get something next to this oh but they can't with the two of wands here I really feel like you have moved on okay I see that they want to come back only because of this reunion card but it's like they're looking at you and they see that you're about to move forward into a whole new world and that's why they want to come back in contact with you okay this is not somebody that respected you this is somebody like looked down on you and your artistry and what you do and what you bring to the table and how connected you are they looked down upon that in the past but they needed to be with somebody that didn't have your qualities in order to see the qualities that you have but it's up to you whether it's too late for real because you have the whole world ahead of you while they're trying to they're trying to come back into the door you're going into a whole new direction you're going into a whole nother place while they're sitting here thinking about coming back into your life you're already planning on another life like let me get something under this hangman here high priestess the high priestess energy okay I really feel like this person wanted to take an opportunity with you I feel like that you were very connected with this person you were very in tune with this person this person was getting messages to go towards you and they didn't listen they did not listen they were at a standstill even when they were getting messages to take this opportunity with you they stayed at a standstill and then they walked away okay even though they got plenty of messages to take a chance they didn't you got the king of pentacles okay yeah somebody walked away and I think they took their money too this could have been somebody that wanted to work with you or wanted to partner up with you but I feel like they took their they were supposed to give you this opportunity they were getting messages that they were going to give that they're supposed to give you this opportunity or bring this to you and they chose not to they chose to move away they chose to keep it you keep you at a standstill keep you in the dark keep you guessing and then they walked away from you 
and then they went and gave this opportunity they were supposed to give to you they went and gave it to somebody and they gave them less okay and nothing happened like they didn't get nowhere with whatever opportunity they gave to somebody else they didn't get nowhere and they know it and i believe that you're winning you got the muse inspire free spirit wild 5d connection soul connection you are the one that's winning they lost with the person that they were getting with they lost and now they're probably seeing you winning and they want to come back in reunion with you <sighs> look like i said it's up to you it is up to you i wouldn't do it but it's up to you you got the death card you see nothing happened with that opportunity nothing happened with the opportunity if anything this is the opportunity that made them realize how much of a mistake they made how big of a mistake they made by leaving you behind by keeping you at a standstill and then walking away from you like that they they 100 percent know how much of a mistake they made okay they know because this is scorpio energy the death card that's scorpio energy you don't cut you don't you don't come back from that you don't change back from that you always remember the lesson that happens when the death card comes out and now you got the moon card out here too you got the moon card out here too i really feel like they were how can i say this like they were talking to you subliminally they were sending you subliminal messages or they were they were trying to tap into what you're doing or trying to tap into your energy trying to make a way trying to open the lines of communication but they know that they fucked up Okay, excuse my language, but they know that they messed this up and they're trying to find ways that are not direct. With this moon card beneath this ace of sword, the ways that they want to talk to you, it is not direct. Okay, they're probably shameful. They're probably in their pride about the fact that they was wrong and they tried to they tried to be right. They tried to bring this opportunity to somebody else and make it big to make you feel some type of way. But you're the one that's making it big you're the one that's excelling they're the ones that's that this this whole opportunity they gave to somebody else that is in the trash now so now they're trying to find ways back into your energy i'm telling you oh i don't i don't even know if i've ever gotten the ace of sword beneath the moon card i don't think that that has ever happened since i've been reading tarot okay but this is somebody that is trying to subliminally speak with you they're trying to subliminally get back into your energy before they actually get back into your energy. And I think this is going to be the indication that it's, it's not going to work for them. Like, I'm getting the energy of somebody that wants to test your, your temperature. You know, for the people that know what I'm saying, like when you, let's say somebody did you wrong and they don't know if they can step to you. They're probably going to test you a little bit or they're going to like... They're going to try to say something nice and see how you react or they're going to try to, you know, somebody's testing your temperature here. Okay. Subliminally to see if they can actually come back into this reunion with you. And I don't think so, but okay, let me get something under this three of swords here. The Empress. Okay. The Empress. While they was losing, you was rising. Okay. You can't step to no Empress in no type of subliminal way you can't do that you broke this empress heart you this person that is the muse and inspire and free spirit and wild and soul connection and 5d and all of that that is the empress you broke the empress heart and now you want to come back because you see the empress winning because you see that you made the wrong choice see that's the kind of stuff that i don't agree with that's the stuff i don't agree with and they also see your transformation. They cannot believe like how you transform or how you became who you are. Okay? They do not understand it. They don't. With the death in the moon card, they do not understand what the hell just happened. Like what the hell kind of transformation did you just endure or go through? Like something just happened. Okay? And you came out as an empress. And they're coming out looking confused. Okay? Look, this Empress, this opportunity was for them, okay? This opportunity was for this Empress, but it never got to this Empress, okay? And they are definitely feeling the pressure that you're getting a completely new opportunity, a completely new chance 
to do whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to be doing it with them. And that's why I say, while you're going into a whole nother part of your life, this person is trying to come back into an old place that you're not even, you're not even that person no more. You're not even there no more. You know what I'm saying? This person is too far in the past to try to pop up in your life now and trying to make something happen. You got new opportunities coming in. Okay? Let me get something under this two of wands here. Oh, we got another confirmation. Plus, it's 222 on the clock. We got another confirmation. Okay? Let me get something under this two of wands. You got the emperor. So you got the emperor and you got the empress. This is also somebody having a baby, okay? This is also somebody getting into a, a good relationship and the old person coming back in, they're going to be too late. They're going to be too late. They let you go and they shouldn't have let you go, okay? It's going to be too late. It will already be too late. You will, be al you will already be having a child. You will already be meeting your man if you haven't met your man or your woman. Like for real, the empress and the emperor is here, with an ace of pentacles between them. That is a child, okay? That's definitely something that they're creating together. It could be a child or it could be something that they're creating together. But whatever it is they're creating together, they're creating it on the same foundation. They're creating it with the same thing in mind, okay? They're creating it like like they're, they're eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? This energy over here, this wasn't eye to eye. This energy, they was looking at you, but they look away. They don't, they don't want to look at you. They don't want to work with you. They don't understand your energy. They don't understand this free spirit. They don't understand they can't control you, okay? This, you're a free spirit. And now you're going to go off and have an opportunity with somebody else. And by the time they come in, you're already going to be leaving this situation. You got the three of pentacles. You're, it's already going to be like a family. It's already going to be like something that's working together. Something that is a whole unit. Three of pentacles here. It's something that's a whole unit. Y'all are already going to be a team. By the time that this other person tries to come in and reunite with you, you're already going to be a team with somebody else. You're already going to be creating with somebody else. You're already going to be, you know, off on your next journey, pretty much. Let me get one of these. You got repairing the veil forgiveness it's like they want forgiveness it's like they ripped you apart you see it's like somebody trying to tie up um, a reality like there's a reality here right that's very bright it's beautiful but you see what was opened there was a doorway open and somebody's trying to tie it back together like a corset so you don't see what the darkness that was in there okay so you don't see what was really going on it's somebody trying to paint a picture to you but you see what happened you see that they're trying to repair it okay and i like i said they're talking they're going to try to talk to you subliminally they're, they're going to try to get back into your energy without you 100 percent knowing it so that they can repair whatever it is that they damaged and it's not going to work it's too late you know that's like trying to put back together a mirror it's not going to work. Once that once that image of somebody has been shattered, has been opened, you can't sew it back together. Okay? You can't. It's already it's already had its damage. It's already been hurt. Let me get something next to this repairing the veil. They want forgiveness for for leaving you behind and going and having an opportunity with somebody else. And you know what, that's funny, because that's karma, because now you're gonna leave them and have an opportunity with somebody else, except your opportunity is actually going to manifest. Your opportunity is actually going to work. Their opportunity did not work, because they were supposed to have the opportunity with you, but they chose not to, and that's their karma. Let me get something next to this repairing the veil. You got heart, home, compassion. Okay, this is where you're going. This is where you're absolutely heading. Okay, where they damaged you, you are going to be healed. You are going to feel what it feels like to be loved by the person that you want to be loved by. You thought it was this person, but this person left you in the dust. It's not this person. Do not let this person come back into your life. Okay, you have something better. Okay, whoever this emperor is, they are going to be the ones that repair whatever this other person did. 
whatever this other person did this this emperor is not going to do the same thing this emperor is going to repair you and you want to do the same whatever y'all do together where it's having a whether it's having a baby or working together or producing something is going you're going to heal as a result of that let me pick these up okay let's go for right let me get one more out here just one more netcaster preparations come to fru fruition preparations come and come to fruition it's like everything you wanted with them you're going to get with somebody else pretty much this person should not be able to come back into your energy after they damage you and hurt you or whatever they did they left you you're still going to get exactly what you want but you're going to get it in another way and i believe it's going to come through as this emperor it's not going to come through as this person that was in this hangman energy that's not how it's going to come through okay but you're still it's still going to happen these things are going to happen whatever was meant to happen is still going to happen it's just going to be with a different person okay but i'm gonna leave it right there if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribe so far i really really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective i love you guys and i will be back with another reading later bye